Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video and today I got here a viewer's bike over here that bought these wheels for me. He basically drove three and a half hours to come on by and have me install all of these components that he bought for it. So we're doing a complete overhaul on the bike. As of right now, it has uh, Altegra Di2 on it. He just bought the Princeton Wake 6560s for me, but we're actually doing a couple swap outs. We're putting on a brand new NV carbon fiber bar. We have an NV carbon fiber stem to go with it as well. We're putting on, I'm, a, I'm excited to see how these go, the new 12 speed brake calipers onto these Shimano Altegra 11 speed calipers. He wants to get a little bit more water clearance. I'm excited to see how they work and see if they go on there. So we'll see if that goes. We also have on here an OSPW, which looks like you bought. We have some new chain, a new cassette. Um, that's the MV stem. We're putting on a new saddle as well. That's for power mirror. We're swapping out the Altair crank for a 5236 with a 4i power meter. And then to top it all off, he bought a bottom bracket from the man himself, Mr. Hambini. So we're swapping out his original bottom bracket for a Hambini bottom bracket, OSPW on there, and we'll see how this thing goes. The only thing that's not gonna be finished will be the tape. Um, he said he does his own tape at home. Kind of offended by that, no, I'm just kidding. But it makes my job easier, so I'll leave the tape bare bone. But we're going from aluminum bars to carbon. We're gonna raise the stack as well. So I'm excited to see this whole transformation. So I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. All right, so look at guys. So we're gonna be playing on a new bar right here. As you can see here, we have these quick links, but with these new bars, because they're Envy and they're internal, and the cable's gonna be ran through the handlebar. We're not gonna be able to disconnect them here because we have to run them. We're gonna have to disconnect them here, cut it, go inside here. And then also for his crank, it's a 5034 with a pretty big cassette range in the back. We're changing to a subcompact to 5236. And we're going to a smaller cassette. I'm gonna give you guys a free spin, uh, a free wheel spin test right now, as is. Uh, we'll see how the spin test is with the stock bottom rack and stock cage. And we'll come back and revisit later on down the road. Honestly, isn't that bad. But we will have to be mindful when running this as well. We're cutting the cable here for the handlebars, and we're also gonna be cutting uh, the housing down here for the caliper as well to fit inside there, so we have to be careful. It looks like we have enough cable, but always be mindful whenever you're running internal stuff. From external, you do have to be uh, worry about how much cable you have, but I'll keep you guys posted. So this is the follow-up project to where we're at right now. Bars are installed, the cables are ran. So you see right here, the DI2 box is still right underneath the stem. We had to keep the stem on because I guess during this year of this model, this bike, the steer is actually oversized, so only these stems fit for this size stem. So the MV stem is a no-go, but the MV bars are installed. Also, we have the 11-speed Shimano shifters on here with the new 12-speed Altegra calipers. Still haven't passed the bleed through them yet, but we're gonna do that. I removed the old bottom bracket that was on here. And now we're about to install the new uh, OSPW that's on top of there. And we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. It's a work day. Spin test, Ambini. So this is the finished product of everything that we brought in here. We have the new Ceramic Speed OSPW on there. We have the new Shimano 11 speed chain. We have the 1130 Ceram cassette. We have on here the new crank, the 5236. We have a Hambini bottom bracket, the new 4i power meter. We got the Envy bars in there for the cockpit as well. Uh, we have the 11 speed shifters with the brand new 12 speed calipers for a little bit more brake clearance as well, which works phenomenally. There's no issues there. And the resistance on here is literally none. I mean, with the OSPW pair with the hand and bond bracket, this thing is just effortless to spin. Spins very easily, looks really nice. And then just to top it off, we have the 3D printed Roman Evo saddle. So very beautiful bike. Thank you to the uh, gentleman who brought it over here as well for me to work on it. But the bike came out absolutely amazing. Uh, he's gonna do the handlebar tape at home. And then we're gonna look, if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of stem to use here for this, if you guys know what the problem I'm having, uh, let me know in the comment section below, but beautiful build. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.